What is up YouTube fragrance family and friends? I'm Tommy with Studio Sims and welcome to today's list video. That's right, we've got a top 10 list. Today was kind of sort of a user requested or viewer user, viewer requested video. I had a couple of guys say, hey man, could you do a cheap top 10 cheap spring and summer list, fragrance list for us? And I had actually already been working on that. So that kind of proves we all have kind of similar thoughts and ideas, especially when the weather changes. And it's a beautiful balmy 74 degrees here in East Tennessee. I hope the sun is shining down on you similarly. And you've got a beautiful day to look forward to and ahead of you. So when we return, we're gonna go over 10 fragrances that are inexpensive. They won't break the bank, but they're gonna be great for your spring and summer rotation. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for stopping by my channel today and checking out today's top 10 list for spring and summer cheap fragrances. There may be some of these that you've heard of, maybe you even own some of these. I might introduce you to something today that might just turn out to be your next favorite spring and summer cheapy. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Coming in at my number 10 is a scent from a very well-known house, Carl Lagerfeld. Bois de Cedre is, yes, because of the word cedar, it is a cedar-based fragrance, at least it's their cedar wood in the base, but it's more than that. There's some really cool salty notes in here. There's also Violet Absolute. Uh, there is some uh, Ambroxan in here, of course, to make it give you that modern feel and spin, but it opens up very bright and citrusy with some bergamot as well. So it's an inexpensive cheapy that not a lot of people are talking about. Actually, no one that I know of is talking about it. It kind of flies under the radar and it comes in at under 30 bucks. So I highly recommend Voice to Cedre and that's why it's my number 10. Coming in at my number nine is a fragrance from Calvin Klein. A lot of people are familiar with CK1 Summer and they have a summer edition that comes out every year and they're not aware of Eternity actually does a similar. This is the 2020 version. This one has a really good times beachy fun vibe. It's got some star anise and saffron in there. Uh, it has some osmanthus in the heart, I believe, along with some coconut nectar to give it a nice tropical feel. The base consists of olibidum, labdanum, and, and sandalwood, so it's really warm, sweet, and creamy. So it's a really nice, quick, easy grab for summer and spring. It's a great vacation fragrance if you're going to the beach because of that coconut. And again, it's just a good time, good feel vibe fragrance for really inexpensive. You can get this at a rack store for about 25 bucks and online discounters for even less. Coming in at my number eight is a little talked about fragrance from Alfred Dunhill. Dunhill Century is actually a really fine scent. It's what I term a signature scent because it's really for all weather, but I bust it out in spring and summer because it's something just a little bit different. It opens with a really fresh bergamot, grapefruit, and mandarin orange mix. You've got cardamom, frankincense, some sandalwood for some nice creamy overtones, and I think some cypriol oil as well, which is very much like orange blossomy, you know, mandarin orangey. So this opens very nice, fresh, citrusy, but it dries down into a nice musky masculine fragrance, which again, can be worn any time of year, but I think it shines in warmer weather specifically because it does so good in high heat. You can pick this up at most places for about 20 bucks, and I really like that kind of modern looking presentation with the caveat of a magnetic cap. It's always cool. And that's why it's my number eight cheapy Alfred Dunhill Century. Guys, I did it and I can't apologize because I really like this fragrance, but yes, I am using an Invictus style fragrance, if not an outright Invictus clone for my number seven fragrance. It is a cheapy, however, and it is from the House of Davidoff. There's just something about Davidoff Run Wild that I really, really like. Of course, it, its claim to fame is its, you know, American lavender, it's got Madagascan cinnamon in the heart, and it's resting on a base of fir balsam, but there's also kind of a creamy sweetness in there that no doubt comes from an aroma chemical, but I really like it. It's almost like a strawberry, a light fruity strawberry overtone. It actually performs really well. So this is a great spring and summer fragrance for a fraction of the cost of anything else similar to Invictus. 
That is why it's in my number 7 spot, Davidoff's Run Wild. Coming in at my number 6 is an aquatic fragrance from the House of Azaro. Azaro Maritimo is one of those really easy to get along with aquatic fragrances. It's got a little bit of salt in it, a little bit of brine, but it also is just super accessible and easy to wear. And it comes in at a fraction of the cost of most aquatic fragrances. It opens with a really fresh Italian lemon. It's got citron and mint. It's got that captive water molecule Calypsone in there along with Haitian vetiver and an Atlas cedar in the base. So it's really nice and dry along with being super aquatic. It's one of the best cheap aquatic fragrances on the market and if you haven't tried it, I would also try Lavonzo and Famigliano. These are interchangeable. Those aren't aquatic, however. This is the only aquatic out of the three, so I highly recommend Maritimo, and that's why it's my number six. Our next fragrance coming in at number five is a fragrance from the House of Pepe Jeans, London. It's got some really cool notes for a spring and summer fragrance. Of course, you've got that neat little presentation. It's a shaker, which is a nod to the casual style of Pepe Jeans. This one opens with bergamot, mandarin orange, and pineapple, so it's a nice infusion of juicy fruits. You've got French lavender and nutmeg in the heart, resting on a base of amber, woods, vanilla, and coffee absolute, which is a great note in here. You don't really catch that coffee absolute until it dries down, and it's just a really nice mellow addition to blend with the amber, the vanilla, and the woods, and it makes it a fantastic casual scent. And that's why Peppy Jeans of London is coming in at my number five for cheapy fragrances for spring and summer. Coming in at my number four is a fragrance that I've featured on my channel many times before from the House of Banana Republic. From the popular icon collection comes number 78 vintage green one of the best green fragrances just overall you could get this for right around 22 dollars um, right now because it's gained in popularity a lot of people have come to know this as a as the good quality fragrance that it is so you're going to get it it's going to be right around 30 bucks when you go to order this you might be able to find it for less but you've got bergamot green leaves mandarin orange magnolia jasmine there's green tea a little bit of fig a little bit of cedar wood and some other fragrant notes in here nice lightly vegetal very green oriented fragrance it doesn't sit super heavy on the skin it performs really well it goes with pretty much any situation upscale or casual and that's what makes it hyper versatile and again, coming in at under 30 bucks, that makes it a fantastic cheap fragrance for spring and summer. Number 78, Vintage Green Banana Republic from the Icon Collection. All right, guys, we're down to our top three fragrances, and I'm going to introduce to you another aquatic fragrance from the house of Fan Defendi. I've been defending Fan Defendi as a fan of Fan Defendi for a long time. Ah. For whatever reason, all of these fragrances are completely discontinued. I don't know why. They're really good, super solid quality fragrances. You can still find Fan Defendi Aqua fairly easily, but you better grab it up while you can now because once they're gone, they're going to be gone just like all the others this one opens with a nice bright lavender you've got bergamot you've got italian lemon you've got somewhat of a zesty basil sage and pink pepper in the heart that gives it its lift you've got marine notes in there you've got cedar wood a little bit of heavier musk in the base and a good bit of leather and i think that's what makes this unique not only is it a nice aquatic fragrance but it's one of the few aquatic fragrances that features the note of leather in the base but it's not an overt leather it's just enough to make it super masculine super wearable very very well performing i have worn this out i have worn a ton of fan defendi aqua and i'm really happy they still have it because this is my backup bottle so grab it up while you can guys this is my number three cheapy for spring and summer fan defendi's aqua coming in at number two is a house that i've been impressed with lately roger and galet Verveen Utopi may be an extrait cologne or an eau de cologne concentration, but this really is a powerful 
Eau de Cologne. It puts me in mind a little bit of 4711, but it's actually stronger. This particular fragrance came out in 2017. Juliette Caraguazolo is the creator, created a ton of YSL Yves Saint Laurent fragrances. She also created Tuxedo, the infamous Tuxedo fragrance. But this little fragrance right here, let me just tell you, it is a very fresh, wonderful, citrusy, zesty fragrance, and it's unisex. So it's super versatile. To me, it's a little bit more masculine on the masculine side of unisex. This features vervain, it's got gentiana, cedarwood, guaiac wood, a little bit of basil, and some absinthe. It actually manages not to make it boozy, but to make it super fresh and somewhat adds a little bit of a zest or a zing to it. And that's why it's my number two cheapy. Now, this is probably the more expensive uh, in terms of cheapy fragrances. You can get this for about 43 bucks. And that's why Roger and Gallet's Vervine Utopia takes my number two spot. All right, guys, we're down to my number one cheap spring and summer fragrance. And it was not really a hard pick, to be quite honest, because it smells so much more expensive than what it is. It's from the house of Rochas. I didn't have a lot of expectations for Lome Rochas when I got it, but when I took the lid off and I sprayed it and I got that pineapple and bergamot and blood orange open, I was like, okay, all right, I see you. I really enjoyed that brisk open that I knew was gonna lead into a really nice, unique blue fragrance. You've got juniper, geranium, and basil in its heart, resting on a base of patchouli, moss, and tonka bean. So it sounds like a relatively simplistic profile, but what they do with the basil and the geranium in this really is what adds the character and the depth to this fragrance. I really, really enjoy it. It can be worn year round. I think it is gonna be best utilized in spring and summer. Spring and summer brings out a side of the spices in here that you don't typically see, especially in cooler weather. So in warmer weather, it's gonna be a lot more zingy, zesty, spicy, and it's gonna last a lot longer. Just overall, I couldn't find a better cheap fragrance coming in at under 30 bucks. Lome Rochas, and that's why it's my number one pick for spring and summer cheaping. Guys, thanks so much for checking out my list of cheap spring and summer fragrances, my top 10. I do hope that you found something in this that you're interested in that you don't already own, or maybe reminded you of something that's been sitting on the shelf to dust it off and try it out again, because all of these have a specific use and unique position in my rotation, and I hope they can in yours as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video list. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow.